My name's Keith, and this is my mate, Pete. You're right. With the Ice Spade H2O Rail coming in, apparently a lot of you Londoners are going to be moving to the Midlands. So we've been hired by the Taurus Board to make a film about Birmingham. Way! We love Birmingham way down. It's really, really great. We're going to show you around all the local sites. Hey, 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 including the pubs, right? What's he like, him? What's he like? Hey, you're just as bad, Keith. You know what the lads call us down the pub? Do you know what they call us? Well, he's Keith and I'm Pete, so they call us KP because we're nuts. <laughs> KP nuts. Do you get it? Absolutely crackers we are. Absolutely crackers. I, I just like Anton Deck, aren't we? Hey, I'll tell you what though, we're twice as funny, but with half their money. Do you get it? <laughs> I'd flipping love half their money, bunch of northerners. Well, you see, that's it. Londoners, we're like you. We don't like people from the north either. Oh, well, they're really tight, aren't they? They only come down to Brum to watch the footy, then they just bugger off on the train. Why don't they stay? I oh, know. Stop for the could I? Do you know that the ball toy could I was invented right here in Birmingham? Yeah, yeah, in the Sparbrook Sparkle area. I tell you what, old mate Dean lives round there, don't I? Yeah. yeah Dean, he runs a jewelry shop round there. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's dead famous, is Dean. Yeah, he's been on the telly loud. Oh, he has, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Five times in the last two months. Yeah. Oh, what's he doing now? Oh, what is it? Uh, oh, it's a. Uh, uh, Crime Watch. Yeah. Yeah, he's been, uh, been doing reconstructions mm. for his jewellery shop. Dead famous, Dean. Real mm -hmm. local celebrity, isn't he? Yeah. He's been asked to turn on the Tarsley Christmas lights this year. Tarsley? Yeah. yeah. We'll be made up with that, will do. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. But anyway, enough about that. We's got to show the southerners around Birmingham. Right, go on then. Follow us. Oh, uh, just remember to wipe your feet first. Do you get it? Why do you think? What's he on this lad? What's he on? Birmingham is a city rich in culture and history. The story of how it came into existence is a fascinating one. In the year 8000 BC, it was a harsh and barren land, largely inhabited by wolves. Sorry, by Wolves fans. The Wolverhampton Wolves Football Club was the only one in the Midlands at the time. But in an attempt to quash Wolves' monopoly on the game, a group of brave revolutionaries decided to rebel against the dull hit and hope football that's still played by Wolverhampton to this day. A bitter and prolonged campaign of war ensued. But our forefathers prevailed, pushing back the Wolverhampton fans and forcing them over to the west. With their hard-fought victory achieved, they set about building a football team that could be the basis of an entire civilization, one that played with flair, passion and excitement. No, not the villa. <laughs> We're of course talking about Birmingham City, a football club that combines the tact of Barcelona, the physicality of Bayern Munich, and of course the tenacity of a young Phil Neville. From humble beginnings, the club grew into the sprawling metropolis that we know and love to this day. But what would they call this new city? Those who dared to dream. The city of dreams. Too obvious. Star City, sadly nabbed by the local Bolderama. Perhaps God's Back Garden. Unfortunately, it was copyrighted as a joke by Yorkshire. The cleverest of our founders decided to name the city for its best qualities. A burr to represent the strength of the nation. A ming to represent the wisdom of the people. And of course, a ham for its delicious toys. And it's these three items that gave Birmingham the name it has to die. And that's why our city flag looks like this.
Birmingham is a rarely popular tourist destination, and why not? It combines the glamour of New York's Main Street, the refinement of a Parisian cafe, and the gritty nightlife of the back streets of Soho. First up on our list of tourist attractions is the Aston Gasworks. People travel from miles around to see the amazing architecture. Also, it's a great couple's day out because he's got the blow towers for the blokes and maroon ones for the ladies. There's even something for you animal lovers out there. That's right, the entrance is guarded by Alsatians. One last quick fact about the Aston Gasworks. Did you know that they're full of gas? Hey, hey, you should work here, Keith. <laughs> Oi, I heard that. He's one to talk. You certainly wouldn't want to be caught downwind of him after the cut eye. Speaking of jobs, though, in Birmingham, we don't complain about foreigners taking our work. No, we're very multicultural here. Actually, the main problem as you saw with the gas works, is animals taking our jobs. In Brum, a lot of the manual work has gone to the animals now. I know the gaffer down at Roof Monkey is a lovely chimp, but he pays his workers peanuts. Back to you then, Pete. Where are we going next, Bab? <laughs> peanuts? That's great, that is. That's going to be next Christmas card. <laughs> now, our next tourist attraction, you might think only exists in London, but you're wrong. New to Birmingham, it's Access Self Storage. Will you just look at the size of it? I'm down here now, Saturdays. I can just spend hours staring at the units, wondering what things people have got stored in there. Access Self Storage is also a great family day out, because while Dad's guessing what sort of car motors are stored in there, your kids can be guessing what kind of action man toys there are. And hey, why not make a die of it? If you come on a weekday, or before 12 on a Saturday, Hungry Harry's Burger Van is parked around the corner, so you've got refreshments and all. What do you think of that then, I, Keith? Beats looking round Buckingham Palace. I bet I couldn't get a burger in there to save me life. Right, we best move on, because I know there's one more thing that Pete has been itching to show you. Go on then, Pete, what is it? Thanks, Keith. This next one is for the thrill seekers. You might have already guessed it, but I am of course referring to Birmingham's premier theme park, Spaghetti Junction. It boasts 559 concrete columns, some of which can reach up to 80 feet in height. Once you join the interchange, you can experience speeds of up to 15 miles an hour. Whoa! Imagine that! It stops at the very top as traffic rages gridlock, so you can sit around and admire the love life view. Plus, if you get stuck in the wrong line, you can have three or four circuits for free, so it's good value for money as well. It's another great family day out, and it's open 24 hours a day. Back to you then, Keith. Thanks for that, Pete. As you can see, there's loads of fun to be had in Birmingham, but it doesn't stop there. Let's move on to our next section. When it comes to food, us Brummies keep things simple and local, and that's why we stay so healthy. A diet rich in bovril and curry keeps us nice and lean, Plus, packing in far much more salt than the recommended daily allowance means we get through plenty of water as well. Typical dishes include bovril and chips. Bovril and pie. Or if you want the ultimate brumai treat, bovril and curry. You can try that with a pie. Did you know a famous aphrodisiac is bovril coated strawberries? Hey, I tell you what. Give that to the ladies pre coitus and you'll be more irresistible than a young Noddy Halder. They'll certainly be singing my oh my, let me tell you how. In Birmingham, some people have cars. But if you're watching your pennies, or you just care about the environment as Keith and all do, there's another mode of transportation, and it's absolutely free. All you have to do is... Find a canal bank, look for some rubbish or floating debris, and just hop on. 
Hey presto, free transport. The canals go all over the city, so eventually you'll get to where you need to go. Plus, if it's windy, you'll get there extra quick. If you're talking the family, find a bin, kick it in a canal and just hop on. Wheelie bins float really well, plus they've got whales, so when you get to where you need to go, you can easily pull yourself up along the bank. Some people are a bit snotty about using the canals, but rats use them. And I tell you, if it's good enough for them, it's, it's good, good enough, enough for us. us. Well, that's all we've got time for today, but hopefully we've provided you with a real insight into Birmingham. So come on Londoners, don't be frightened, we don't bite. In fact, when you are next up, come and see Pete and I. I, I, we'll probably be in the pub, won't we? <laughs> Aye, down the russet and griddle. We're always in there. It's our local. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you come on a Tuesday night, we'll be doing the pub quiz, won't we? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. it's going to be great. I've got all my patters sorted out. It's going to be a fantastic night. <laughs> He's got all the patter. All he needs to think of now is the questions. <laughs> Shut up, yow! <laughs> I tell you what, if you look, eh? We might even get you around in. I tell you what, they'd have to be very lucky for Yao to get them around in. They would be if they only ordered Smithy Real Ale. He's like the Queen of Shiva. Oh, shut up, Yao. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching. And remember, as we always say, come to Birmingham, it's, it's great. great. I love coming here on a Saturday just to get away from it all. You know, it's just nice to get out of the city and away from the hustle and bustle. Just, it's just so peaceful, serene, isn't it? Nobody for miles around. I love it.